Hi guys, today we're going to talk more about how to find the area of a parallelogram and some other problems with it. Please make sure you have your notebook in front of you so you can take notes and copy these down. Um, Alright, so for number one I'd like you to try this on your own. So pause the video and click play when you are done and want to check your answer. Alright, so we're going to find the area of this parallelogram. So we know to find the area of a parallelogram we multiply the base times the height. Um, so you can see in this parallelogram the base is four-fifths feet and the height we're going to multiply is two and a half. But before I do that I'm going to change this to an improper fraction to make it easier. So remember two times two would be four plus the one would be five over two. So two and a half is the same thing as five over two. So my height is five over two. Oh. And then when I multiply these straight across the top, straight across the bottom, four times five is 20 over 10. And now of course I can simplify 20 over 10. What's 20 divided by 10? It's two. So my area of this pal parallelogram is two feet squared. Um, perfect. So now let's do another one with fractions except this time I'm being told the area and you have to try to figure out the base. So the area of the parallelogram is 20 thirds meters squared or 20 over 3 meters squared the length of the height of the parallelogram is 8 ninths meters. I need to find the length of the base. So just like we know how to do, we are going to plug in what we know. Let's use orange. So we know our formula is base times height. So now I'm going to plug in what I have. And what I have is the area and the height. So I'm going to plug those in. Area and height, I have them. The area is 20 over 3. The base, I don't know yet. And the height is 8 over 9. 8 over 9. Okay, so now we have 20 over 3. This is a 3 here, sorry. 20 over 3 equals base times 8 ninths. Well, how do we solve to figure out what B is? We got to do the inverse operation. This is multiplication, so we need to do division. We're going to be doing 20 thirds divided by 8 ninths. Let me write that down over here actually. 20 thirds divided by 8 ninths. But you know that to divide a fraction, what do we do? We do keep change flip. So really, we're going to be doing 20 thirds times 9 over 8. So let's do that. Um, you could cross simplify first if you want to. Um, I'm not going to. But so 20 times 9, that would equal 180. And then 3 times 8 is 24. Now, of course, we have to check to see if we can simplify, which, yeah, we can. You can simplify by, blah, 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 simplify by something bigger, but I'm going to start by simplifying by 2. So when I simplify by 2, 180 divided by 2 equals 90. 24 divided by 2 is 12. Anything else I can simplify? Yes, I can simplify by 2 again, or I can simplify by 3. Um, but if I can simplify by 2, or if I can simplify by 3, that means I can simplify by 6. So let's do that. Simplify by 6. By 6. And I guess I'm going to have to write my answer on the bottom because I'm out of room. So 90 divided by 6 is 15. And 12 divided by 6 is 2. And we can't simplify anymore, so that's the answer. The base of this triangle is 15 over 2 meters. Okay? So same thing, even though we have fractions, you plug in what you know and solve. Alright, so let's take it up a notch and combine some topics. I see variables here, very important. 
Um, I want you guys to try on your own first. Pause this video and try to find the area of each parallelogram. Um, use your knowledge of expressions. You can do it. When you're done, click play and check your answer. Okay, so hopefully you did this now. Um, same thing. Even though there's a variable, you're going to do the same thing. Area is base times height. So in this problem, my base is 3x inches. And the height, I can see, is 4 inches. So I'm going to do 3x times 4. What's 3x times 4? It's 12x. So my area is 12x inches squared. Boom. Done. Number two. Base times height, so I'm going to be doing the base is 2, and the height is x minus 5. Okay, we can do that. Um, how do we multiply this? What does this look like? What is this called? The distributive property. Yes, that's how we multiply a number with the expression. So remember we do 2 times x is 2x. And then 2 times 5 is 10. So that's my answer. 2x minus 10 centimeters squared. That is the area of this parallelogram. We can't solve anymore because we don't know what x is. So that's it. And then finally for this one, we're going to do area equals base times height. Same thing. My base is... 12x minus 10 centimeters. Am I going to run out of room? 12x minus 10 centimeters times the height I can see is 7 centimeters. What do we do here? Yeah, same thing. It's the distributive property. It's just that the 7's on the other side, but you do the same thing. First you do 7 times 12x, then you do 7 times 10. So we are going to get, um, uh, I'm sorry, what was I just saying? Oh, yes, 7 times 12x would give me 84x. And then 7 times 10 is 70. So your answer is 84x minus 70 centimeters squared. Okay, so same thing. I just was using some expressions and some variables, but I still did base times height. Let's do two more practice problems. Um, so in these ones, I did not give you... Oh, I see a typo. I did not give you a picture. I just gave you words. So let's try it together. Number one, a parallelogram has a base of X feet and a height that is four feet longer than the base. Find the area of the parallelogram. Well, first thing you should do is draw a picture. And it's okay if you're not great at drawing a parallelogram. I'm sure not. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> that was so terrible. I'm going to do that over. <laughs> I'm going to do it more like this. There's my parallelogram. My base is X feet. So I'm going to put an X here. The height is four feet longer than the base. Well, if the base is X and the height is four feet longer than that, how do I figure out what the height is? I add X plus four. Longer, if it's four feet longer, that's an additional four feet. So my height would be X plus four feet. X plus four. Okay, so now that I have that all labeled, to find the area, I do um, base times height. So area equals base times height, which means we're going to be doing x as my base times the height is x plus 4. So I'm going to put it in parentheses so I know the x plus 4 stays together because it's all talking about one, one part of the triangle, the height. Um, this is a tricky one, because I don't think we've ever done this before, but that's okay. So we know this is distributive property, and we're going to do x times x. 
What do you get when you multiply x times x? You get not 2x, you get x squared, right? When we do x times x, that's the same thing as x squared. Just like the way that if I did, for example, maybe 3 times 3, that would also equal, um, that would equal 3 squared. Right? 3 squared is the same thing as 3 times 3. x squared is the same thing as x times x. This isn't 2x. 2x is when you have x plus x. x plus x is 2x. So just be careful. Learn something new every day, right? Um, okay. Then we have x times 4 or 4 times x. They're the same thing is 4x. So there it is, the area of this parallelogram, x squared plus 4x, and then this is area, so we have feet squared. I probably will not give you a problem like this where we do x times x, but it's still good to know in case you ever see it. All right, let's do the last one together. A parallelogram has an area of 21 minus 14x yards squared. Find the length of the base. Oh, no, the length of the base is 7 feet. Find the length of the height. Okay, all right, here we go. So I don't have a picture yet, so I best draw one. And what do I know? I know that the base is 7 feet, so this is 7 down here. I know that the whole area is 21 minus 14x. I do not know the height. That's what I'm trying to figure out. So my height, if I were to draw a line up, that's what I'm trying to figure out. I don't know the height. But we do have our formula. Area equals base times height. So let's plug in what we know. Um, well, I know the area. It's 21 minus 14x. And that equals 7, because that's the base times height, which I don't know yet. Okay, so now a lot of you are probably like, oh my god, what do we do now? Well, this is still a one-step equation. I have my answer, and that equals 7 times height. This is multiplication. So I'm going to do the inverse operation. The inverse would be division, right? So I would divide this by 7 to figure out what h equals. So over here, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to divide this whole thing by 7. This is almost kind of like factoring. You used to divide expressions when you factored. Same thing. So we're going to divide the whole thing by 7. 21 divided by 7 would be 3. The minus sign I bring down. 14x divided by 7 is 2x. So there it is. The height of this triangle is 3 minus 2x yards. I should have put yards in there. Yards. So there we go. So I know some of these were a little bit challenging. Um, so if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Good luck.